hello guys welcome to today's tutorial and uh, this is C programming and this is the compiler where we actually have our editor here and uh, we can just come here for the output and the print output all right so all right so today we'll be going into C functions functions in C programming and uh, the introduction to functions in C programming is that in C programming we have functions and what the function does is that the function actually functions that's what I always see and that's the best way to understand C functions when you hear the word functions it must first ring a bell in your ear that uh, it is something that do, does something a function is called a function because it actually functions for a perfect example is a, a TV remote a TV remote it contains different uh, buttons some we don't even know what it actually does maybe it's now maybe it implies to you too and uh, there are a lot of buttons on your TV remote and but there's a popular one that we always use is the power button so those buttons are actually functions and the reason why they are function is because they actually function so when you hit the power function it can either turn off your TV or bring it on so that is a function a function can be a sentence a, a statement or a block of code so it actually performs on that's the first thing with function when you hear functions it's either a statement or a block of code that perform a specific task so that's a function uh, in C programming and in C programming we have two types of functions we have the standard library functions and the user defined functions first the standard library functions and the user defined functions so what are the standard, li standard library functions standard, li standard library functions are the functions that are that are built in they are built in functions in C programming so they are built in a function these functions are defined in other files example is uh, the printf you can see this this is a function this printf this printf is a function scanf is a function they are standard library functions because they are already defined here the, the function definition is already in this include stdio.h which means standard input and output printf is a uh, is an output function because it's displaced to the user's output. Now, for example, one of the works that print, this printf would do is that printf we display this hello word to the user's output. I hope you understand that printf will display hello word to the user's output. And if we run this program now, let's say we run this program now, we we'll see something like hello word. So you can see it here hello word is displayed at the user's output let's go back to the source file now you can see that if we did this and say hello word and we say probably we say uh a, let's say wait let's add a let's say good morning all right so say good morning and let's run this again so you can see that it already added a good morning after the hello word so what the printf function will do is that it will display uh formatted output or display data let me just display data to the user's output so of course we have a number of standard library functions uh we have the scan f function also the scan f function can get data from a user i have a number of them that we still consider as we proceed we have the uh sqrt function we have the run function we have the math dot uh the sqr function the header file is math.h and now i believe in, but in previous tutorials we have learned how standard library functions work with their header files and their prototypes and we have explained i've explained that properly and i believe you must have understood that before now so today we'll be focusing basically on the second type of function now i told those earlier that there are two major types of function which uh we have the standard library function and the user defined function the user defined function is another type of function so now 
uh, what is the user defined function? Now, user, the user defined function is the function that is no, I told you that the library function, the library function, that's the standard library functions, are inbuilt. They are inbuilt in C programming. So basically, every C compiler already have the elders, the the library files, and all of them. But now, the user defined functions are the function you create as per your need. You create it depending on what you need to do. At, I told you earlier that a function is actually a line of code or a block of code that actually does something. So you want you want a name. For example, you want to you want to have a block of code. Let's call it a function that can ask the user that can greet the user and ask the user for their name. That can only be done by a user defined function. You can call it any name you want. For example, you can call it get name. Just like we have, the way we have print f, you can call it get name. You can call it uh, ask name. Whatever, depending on your own intelligence. All right. So it can be created by the user, and that's why it is called user defined function. And how does it work? So I will give all the uh, the basic syntax of how. The user defined function work then we are going to see an example of it and continue in this trip let me let me clear this so that i can so this is the basic structure of the c program now you can see so let, let me paste the syntax here so now you can see just as you have the prototype in the library standard li standard library functions here we also have prototypes remember that you are the one that created this so you are going to define the prototype so we have the void now it's going to now remember it's void function name this is just a basic example of a user defined function so this is void because it doesn't have any return value don't bother your brain now you will get that later all right and this is the function name. This will be the function. This can be, of course, you can get call this. Let's say get greet user, get number, whatever it is. It's defined by us. And uh, you can see this open and close parentheses. It's always like that too. Now, uh, this just you can see that uh, this is the main function here. This is the main function. This is the main function. And this from line three to line seven is the user defined function. Now it will not be inside the main function. So what actually happened is this. Of course, we have void, we have username here, the void and function name rather. And this is a block of code. So everything that is inside here, inside line five to line six, which can actually expand as long as you want to it to be, whatever. Uh, command you will give here all right whatever command you give here so far you can name this function here on line 14 it will actually do everything you have given here all right let's do a practical example of, of that so uh let's say let's let's call it let's call this function let's call it uh let's say let's say uh what should we call it now so let's say greet greet user all right so it should be together all right so let's call it greet user of course it is void because it doesn't have any return value so you can see it's not returning anything here so we can just say greet user we call this greet user all right so uh, the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to we are going to add our block of code, our block of code here. So what are the block of code that can greet the user? So let's say let's say uh, print f. Uh, okay, and we say let's greet the user. Let's say good and. Uh, Let's add, let's add a new line so that, uh, and let's, let's add another, uh, another 
line of code let's say print print f uh let's say welcome on board oh i made a mistake here welcome on board and um, all right let's add something here also all right so i think this greets anybody this can greet the user so this is this will display good morning and create a new line say welcome on board and this is our function so that means these two things of course we can do so many things we can have an uh, our if else statement you can have a loop whatever you want to do this you can this is a block of code it can be more than 10 lines 20 lines and all of that now this is the int main function clear this and let's say instead of typing our good morning good afternoon in the main function can we just say can we just copy this this greet user here and paste it here so let's say uh greet make sure you use the same uh either lower or upper case greet user all right now we just said greet user right and don't forget your semicolon and that's how to end the statement C program so if we run this now let's see what this will print now note that your your uh, the compiler will not uh we when the compiler gets to line nine and that's you no know, compiler always begin from the main function actually it will start from the main function and when it gets here when it gets here it sees grid user and because there's a prototype here it goes back here to go and check so let's run this and see what happens okay it is an error let's go back and check i think it made a mistake somewhere okay 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 there should be and uh let's open it didn't open this curly brace all right do you see that so that's the one that closes here so let's run it again and see all right so you can see the compiler prints good morning welcome on board do you get this okay so let's say let's say let's say let's go back so let's say we want to create another function that can ask the user name user's name yeah user's name and phone number so let's say let's say we want to create another function here so let's say let's call it let me give you a space so that you can uh, be clear so let's say uh void because that is not returning any, any value so let's say let's call it ask details this is ask details and uh you can see so let's just leave it like this so we say ask details and we will open come in come here let me open a coily brace so everything we want this to do will be inside this block of code so the next thing we're going to do now is to ask for the user's details so let's say uh to get that we need two variables to store the details so let's say we want to ask for the user's name the name and the phone number so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to 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 create name so how do we create name of course you know that the name will be a character character uh, a, a character integer variable a character variable so it's going to be char okay so we're going to say char name okay that is going to be empty because we're going to get we are going to get the details from the user i'm not going to impute the value by ourselves so don't forget that here there must be a pointer so you can see a pointer by block a block bracket so this pointer will specify how long uh characters you want how long alphabet we want the name let's say we want the name like uh it names like a name like john john is j o h n it is just four characters 
So that's what I'm trying to say. So we have to specify how long characters we want the space this name variable to contain. So let's say 10. 10 is nice. So let's uh next let's create the next uh the next variable will be number that's to get the phone number. So we say uh that would be an integer variable int number number all right and that does only a pointer so okay so now that i've created the two variables the next thing i'm going to do is to now use the printf function to ask the user to input and the scanf to receive and store the input so next thing we're going to do now is that we are going to create we're going to have the write the printf another line 13 we do so now that i've created a variable so let's use the have the printf to tell the user to enter their name and the scanf to actually convey the name and store it inside the font the variable name all right so let's see we say printf uh printf now what we're going to do inside the printf we have what should we have inside the printf should be enter your name right so we say enter uh your name all right so enter your name in the print f and we add a semicolon outside here so that the next thing we have the scan f the scan f to get the name that we entered that we ask the scan f to store the name now this will get the input from your user that this is a lib standard library function all right so what the scan f will do is this we're going to say scan f percentage c percentage s rather sorry percentage s because it is a string name is a string for a single characters like a b c d it is uh c percent c and for integers percent d for for double for flip all of that we have different format specifier all right say comma and we use a percent a percent name that means this is where you have to you must save it that this kind of means get a okay come get it should be a in the lower case so this means this what this function will do is that it will say percent s that gets uh a string variable data a string data rather a string data that's a name and store it inside where the name that we created on line 11 all right so the next thing we're going to do here is to uh say that uh we should print f and say let's create a space so that it can be it can be, it can be clear print f and uh, what are we printing this time around enter phone number right so it's going to be uh enter enter your phone number all right so enter your phone number and because we have, have a colon a and outside here you have a semicolon okay all right okay so now we have a scan f to get the phone number so we say scan f all right so it's going to be percentage d now because it is an integer percentage d then we say a percent what now a percent number that means the phone number will be stored inside number as an integer value all right so having done this we come we go straight down here now this is our main function that means everything will be done here the compiler will read everything here remember that we now have two functions two user defined function one is here get user the reason why it is void because is because there's no return of course we are still going to that probably in the next tutorial how to see some other user defined type of user defined functions but this is the basic structure of the user defined function i'm going i'm using the most simplest example now all right so this is a user defined function here 
and this is another one here you can see it ends on line 18. now the compiler will not first go to the user defined function it will come to the main function and that's where its business is now when it comes to the main it comes to the main function rather i'm using e because i remember i always tell say it that uh it's better you actually relate with these terms like uh relate with them as personalities it will help you understand and remember faster all right so when the compiler comes here and it gets here you say greet user so it notices that this is a function because i've mentioned it earlier so it goes back here and it will run everything here there then come back and get out here so assuming there's a return value it returns the value when going there i don't want to rush you now the next thing is that line 9 is another function so if we do not put the function here in the main function this function will not be used so let's let's run this so you can see it's only printed good morning welcome on board and that's all because that's the only function we just like the same way you can create a variable and you don't use it so we have a function that we did not use so you can see so let's go back and add the other function so let's see after you have greeted the user let's say uh ask details remember here yeah, this is the name of the function so we come here and we say uh ask details all right now oh sorry so ask details ask details all right so let's run this again and let's see what happens all right you can see you say good morning welcome on board enter your name so let's say my name is teos all right teos enter my your phone number so let's say my phone number is a uh... okay let me run this again please thank my compiler Okay, Tios says enter your phone number and I say let's make them just say 090 yeah all of that now I don't know that's not my phone number that's just a demo and uh, enter so you can see you can see okay so let's now say in the main function now after these details let's now write a message for the user all right just, let's just come here under this function i will declare this and let's, let's just paste it here now paste the printer here you can see so let's run this now and let's see it's going to work perfectly all right so you can see that let's go back and see how what is happening now this the compiler will run from this main function line 22 to line 28 so when it gets let's clear this white space all right so when it gets to line 23 here it says greet user so it goes back to the function greet user let's see this is the compiler we relate we have to go back here make this okay so it says here you can see void greet user here so and it will start performing everything you ask it to do and that's why it will print this welcome on board good morning and it will return back here here then after i haven't done this we're going to the next line and it's another function that says ask details ask details so it goes back it comes it goes back to ask details here you can see this void ask details and uh, you can see that ask details is it will, it will run every of this command you can see that which it will do and I haven't done that it will return zero but before it returns zero let's just print something neutrally here let's just say let's just print that uh let's just print something let's print that uh uh have a nice day yeah let's say do have a great day great day of course we could not relate i would have mentioned the name of the person but you know that this is the main function we, if, you, if you use percentage s now it will 
not relate with the other function but we're going to solve that in the next tutorial and you see how it's going to work perfectly all right so let's say i have a great day and let's put a cross mark here exclamation mark rather and uh and let's you can so let's run this now and see our program all right so it says good morning and welcome on board enter your name so let's say my name Theos. now so it says enter your phone number what my phone number again i said when it says 090-55443322 let's say this is my digit or maybe i use my country code but oh, basically if you're going to use the country code that means the plus have to be another thing entirely because that uh will not be seen as an integer that will be seen as a character as a character so let's just use the zero oh this is my zero okay let me just put one more here all right all right so let's let me hit enter so you can see it says uh welcome on board tools we get back to you through the phone number we provided earlier which is now it says something entirely different from what i typed and it's because i used an integer i used an integer basically we should use a double for this now an integer does not have enough space that can contain all of this so that's why it is not working and this should be a new line here so I think we're able to learn something today. So try to work on this, rehearse on this, practice on this, see how far you can go with the functions now, these basic functions. And we'll see you again in the next tutorial.